hey, 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 we're doing another video on Gungeon here. I'm just going to do another run. Uh, I'm not going to make it the sit down with your gold a lot video because I think I'm going to keep that as just, you know, the title for videos that I'm trying out a game for the first time. Obviously, I've already tried out this game, as you guys saw in the sit down with your gold a lot episode where I epically failed. But yeah, we're just going to hop right into it. We're just going to do a new floor as one of the other characters. This game is really, really fun, super really playable, like a lot of roguelikes. I don't know, I really like roguelike games, and this game, this game is just like any other roguelike game. It's really, really fun to just get into and start blasting away, and, you know, just have some fun with it. You know, just... I don't know, at least I find it very much fun. And I saw that some people definitely did enjoy the uh, last that's really fun. I played it, and I said they went to find some fun with it. It's just, it's just a good game. I have friends who play this game for like hours a day, and I'm not surprised at all. Because you know, even though there isn't like, you know, any type of raider lines, just playing through it is just so classic and awesome. And it's, you, you can play it at such like a fast tempo, which is nice. In a lot of games, a lot of roguelikes sometimes you have to play real slow, especially ones that take turn based combat. Oh, I messed up that rule a lot. But yeah, this one you can play this really, really fast if you want to. And just really just you know, take your time and just try and get the level as fast as possible. And yeah, it just feels good to move around. It feels good to shoot. Especially with keyboard and mouse, it feels really, really nice to line up your shots. Shopkeep down here, let's check it out. Shrink gun for 45, you say. Wait, how do I grab this blank? Am I just being. Oh, I have to buy it. <laughs> well, I'd rather not buy it. That's so weird that it's not with the rest of the stuff. Whatever. Um. Not the little slime, get off me. Okay, good. Now, what do we got? Have we got a weapon yet? I kind of walked into that, didn't I? Hmm. Here we are. What do you got for me? The scrambler, bullets or the gun? So this is a little egg thing. Alright, sure. Um, let us... Yeah, let us... I'm just gonna check out all the rooms. I really like checking out all the rooms in games like these. I know it's not necessarily always the best use of time, but it's just what I like doing. Because I'm crazy like that. Probably can just tank the hit, but I'd much rather not. It's just a whole bunch of destructibles, I guess. I don't think I've ever seen a room generation like that. I think we want to go with actually. Oh, I should have dodged there. That's my bad. We actually want to um use the pistol for DPS on a single target like that. I don't know how good the egg is at single target damage. I don't know. actually better out of those two options. Okay, what's in this little room? No, we're not the guy. Okay, okay, nice. Uh, we get a blank back, which is nice, because we wasted a blank earlier, so I think we are... Oh, I mean, I'm going to check out this one room. I said I'm going to check out all the rooms, so I'm going to check out all the rooms. You know what I mean? Nice. Okay. 
Well, let us do the final boss. Hopefully this time we won't die epically like in my first video done on this. By being a goofball. Maintain our distance a little bit. And deal some good damage to him. ourselves a little bit of Muldar. And also, we get this. Which is pretty nice. Um, I don't know how well I'll be able to actually use it, but here we go. Anyway, um, let's keep on going here. So let's let's explore the rest. Let's let's explore everything else that's opened up before we actually leave. Oh no, I forgot nothing. Okay, I'm being stupid. For some reason I thought that there was a new area, but I kind of forgot how the dungeon works, if you couldn't tell. It's... <laughs> I played a few games after the original video, uh, and I only got to like one or two floors, or chambers as they're called in this game. So I didn't get very, very far. I'm not too great at this game, but this is a crap ton of fun. What? Oh, let's try and use the sniper on this. Is cool. I mean, is that even... I guess. I mean, it dealt damage to him. That being said. So we can, we can jump this, right? Yeah, we can. So now we got a golden key. Cell key, what could it unlock? Well, I'm guessing it would unlock a cell. I'm no genius here, but I'm guessing that's what it does. Oh, no. Not the bullets. Not the breakdancing bullets. No, I did not have to use a blank there. A lot of misused blanks, but that's kind of how it is. I just kind of walked in with the explosive barrel on his own accord. Oh, Shiza. I can damage this thing, can I? Uh, I didn't use a blank there, feels bad. Alright, um, a whole bunch of rooms in this room. A whole bunch of things to explore. Anyway, what's in this little jar? Nothing? Okay, I thought there was gonna be a little guy in that jar, I guess not. And there's spider webs too, I didn't even know it's spider webs in the game. Well, that guy's dead, goodbye. Oh, nice. There's a fucking big shotgun boy behind the small shotgun boy. Oh. I think I'm just one shot away from killing him. Yeah, up here. Anything in the stop room? Nope. Oh! We just kinda dodged in the wall and just kinda worked right there. Right, nice, he's dead. What the hell are you? I've never seen that blue bullet before. Okay, another blank. Nope, and then there's the boss room. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, let's check out the rest of the rooms that are in these little stable areas. Are these stables? What is this, like a, a hall? A grand hall? A dining hall? Um, let's check out this. Oh, a parkour section, really? I should not have dodged, I should have just walked onto it normally. Hmm. Alright, there we go. I just used that time it right, and luckily I didn't have the time it right, it just kind of gave it to me. Anyway, what are you? 
Okay, sure. Definitely seems to be the uh, best one so far that we have. So sure. All right, how do I? I know. To, I know. I can use scroll. I can use one, two, three, four. I did not mean to press the key button. Whatever. We'll act like I did mean to press the key button there, so that I can get to this room. Okay. An egg murderer. Sure. Okay. I think we got more than enough guns now. Too many, actually. I don't know how to use them all correctly. Oh, what? So there's like little trails between them? I don't know, this seems complicated. Anyway, let's check out the rest of the stables. Let the rest of the rooms here. Now we have more than enough different things. I mean, this feels... The, is it magnetic? Is it like going to like where the enemies are? Is that what it's doing? I can't tell if so. What, what the hell all these chains are between my bullets? Looks like they're like curving a little bit. I don't know. Um. Okay, zombie bullets. Unfinished business. Sure. Well, this is the cell key. And then there's this lady. Oh, finally. I knew it would be a while before someone came down here, but seriously, it's been forever. Anyway, we should get back to the shop. It's been closed for way too long now. You should come by. We're on the top level of the breach. You can't miss it. I agree. Thank you for rescuing Mistress Cadence and this. I will escort her to the breach. Come on, Ox. Uh, you're always so slow. Alright, great. So we saved them. We can use them later when we're up by the breach. Sure thing, sure thing. This is like some type of crypt? What is this? The altar is empty. Do nothing. Sure. Well, there's still one final pathway to check out. So we're open to check it out and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, so it definitely is a little bit magnetic. This, uh, this AK, whatever it's called, or AK-47. So now here's the shop for this floor. A prime primer, 110. I mean, sure, let's buy it. I forgot how to use used items. Can you, I'm not gonna look it up, it's fine. We should be fine to get this one final boss, right? Or the, the floor boss, I mean, not final boss. You know I mean? We should be fine. Oh, it's one of those little guys from uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I forgot the name of them. But, Beholsters. No, it wasn't. It's called the Beholder. Yeah. It's a fantasy term. Oh, I dodged the wrong way. I went to dodge into it like that. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna use a blank there a little bit expansively. That's fine. Wait, it didn't just reload on its own? Oh. Oh, I'm out of blanks. Hopefully, I didn't need it there because I'm such an epic gamer. Okay, we got him. Just barely. We had half a heart left. Alright, good stuff though. We got him. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Pick up the heart. Pick up that. I guess pick up that, right? Alright. Um, I am... Oh, how do I... I feel like such a dumb fool. Where's the... Where's the way to get out of here? There's still stuff left to pick up. What? Am I just being an idiot? Oh, kind of. Uh, this is where I gotta go. I, I thought this is where I had to go, but I didn't know for sure. Um, yep, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna save and quit here, guys. I'm definitely gonna come back to this game on my own time. I hope you guys understand. Like, Dungeon's just a whole bunch of fun. I don't know if it makes good videos or not, especially with how little I actually know about the game and can talk about the game. It's definitely a lot of fun, though. Um, the other reason that I made this video is because it's Thanksgiving, and you know, I was hanging out with family, I went home a little bit earlier this year than normal, so 
want to get something prepared for you guys because I've been uploading every single week for almost a year now. I think we're like 10 months, maybe 11 months. So I just wanted to keep up with that because it's a good thing to keep up with. But until then, until I make an actual video, um, have an amazing day, guys. Oh.